I'm Thomas Povey, and my book is called Professor Povey's Perplexing Problems. I'm a professor at Oxford University, and I've been a puzzle enthusiast for as long as I can remember. This book is a collection of my favourite puzzles in physics and maths. I've been asked if the book is a textbook for high school students. In one sense it is, but where a conventional textbook is a sedate drive down well-travelled roads. I like to think of this book as a joyride through the back streets. For a puzzle to get into the book, it had to be unusual, it had to give a deeper insight into an interesting topic in maths or physics, and it had to have some playful element to it. Playfulness is actually at the heart of the book. I think we often learn most when our imagination or curiosity is sparked by a new problem. The best problems turn us into explorers, using all the maps and tools we've learnt in school to forge a path into the unknown. It's only by going into the unknown that we can make new discoveries. I've tried to capture some of the excitement of that journey in this book. So instead of starting at chapter one and working through studiously, I encourage you to jump in at random and see where it takes you. In the book, we meet sewage workers on frictionless ladders, Aztecs moving great blocks of stone. We raise obelisks and we knock them down again. We consider what happens when a 747 collides with a mallard duck. We meet Professor Stockclock and his time manipulator elevator. We examine the physics in Jules Verne's Journey to the Moon. And we learn about Archimedes' death ray and about Newton's cannon. The book is silly and playful and fun and possibly just a little bit idiosyncratic, but there was also a serious reason for writing it. Some students in high school fail to collide with the problems that capture their imagination and write off all sorts of fascinating routes they could take in life. This book is a corrective to the dusty tones. It's a manifesto that we need to play with physics and maths as part of the process of developing intellectual independence. So the book is for students and teachers of physics and maths, particularly those at the transition between high school and university. But it's also aimed at playful and scientifically curious people of any age. And for those who wondered why they never found physics or maths fun at school, it's because I've taken all the fun from 2,000 years of classical physics and hidden it in this book.